got a 98 Ford Taurus. We're going to do rear brakes. Take off the wheel. Use a 13 wrench. Take off the two bolts that hold the caliper in place. And the caliper should just lift right off of the rotor. Now you can see here the caliper piston has got to be pressed back in, but this one has notches in it because it has to be rotated at the same time. Many calipers you can just press straight in with a C-clamp or a special caliper compressed tool, but this one has to be rotated at the same time. There's various uh, tools made for this. This is one style, but you see the little knob on there. It is made to fit in that notch on the caliper piston. It slides in there. On these you cannot take a C-clamp and simply squeeze it back in. The piston has to be rotated as it goes in. You may take, make a tool for that. It's a clamp style. You can see the tool in place now at this point. Put a socket on the end of it. Hold the one with the wrench. As you turn it around, it will rotate the piston and compress it in at the same time. Now your piston's all the way back into the caliper. Now when you put your brake pad in there, you can see where they slide. Take a little wire brush and clean those surfaces so that the brake pad can actually slide in and out like it is supposed to. A new brake pad should simply slide in place. These pins with the rubber boot sometimes get stuck. Now you can see this pin, how it's kind of all crummy and rusty. If those are not moving freely, you take them out like this and we'll clean it on a wire wheel before we put it back. They make brake lube, just take a little dab of that. Take a little bit of spray lube and spray it in there to clean the rust out on the inside. We give it a blast of air to kind of clean that out. Now if you look at this top one, rotate it. The top one you can see is sliding in and out and rotating. That's the way they're supposed to be. So if yours aren't doing that, you need to take this out so that the bottom will do that as well. That allows your caliper to relax when you let off of the brakes. You can see the little springs in there. They're spring-loaded to keep tension on them. So you have to compress that a little bit just with your hands to get it to where it'll line up. Now if you look right in there, there's a little notch built into the ear on the caliper. Make sure that that little tab is lined up with that. Otherwise, that keeps it from rotating. Otherwise, it won't fit in there right.
Tighten them back up. You're ready for the wheel. And you're done.